Okay, here's the step-by-step -step play of exactly how I built a $184,000 a month go high level SaaS business. Uh, I'm just gonna refresh my stripe real quick as always so you guys can see the numbers, and know exactly where we're at. So 140K of MRR, 607 subs, um, so active clients, and then 1.8 mil in uh, net volume. And then uh, I'm just gonna cover product, client acquisition, and how we hired and scaled. Before I do that though, I'm gonna go over here and also refresh the agency dashboard for you guys. Um, and then, so 184K in recurring, I'm also going to go to the affiliate portal, again, for all the nerds that are telling me that I make all my money through Go High Level Affiliates by people using my link. I make $3,900 a month through affiliate income. Cool. Now it's out of the way. Let's actually get into it. So I'm going to go through the exact step-by-step -step process of how we built out the product, the Go High Level product, uh, how we got clients, uh, all the way from like zero to basically 50K a month, and then when you should hire and scale, and then what you should be doing at each different stage of your business. So the way I built this out, this system basically work for home service, barbers, dog groomers. It will work for basically any any kind of like small business who's on like Google Maps. Like it'll work for any of them. Now, you might have seen my other videos. I'm very, very adamant about building one system. So when I say one system, I mean go inside the Go High Level software, wherever it is, and actually just build out one system, meaning like the same automations, uh, the same website, the same, the same chatbot, train the same AI chatbot, do all of it like as just one thing that you can control copy to every single new client account that you ever get. It's very important that you do not change this, otherwise you won't be able to scale. Now, at this at this stage from zero to $30,000 a month, we're charging 200 to $400 a month. So for the most part, we had some clients on 97, some on 197 and some on 297, but we basically just stripped everything away and just went straight to the $297 a month plan uh, for the majority of the time. Now, I'll show you what I mean by one system in just a second. I just wanna give you guys like the general numbers of where we were at. Now, at like pretty much day one, you want to get a virtual assistant. So a virtual assistant is someone who actually goes and sets up the snapshot for you in Go High Level. Um, if you guys know Go High Level, it's an amazing tool. But basically what I mean by that is she'll just go set up all your clients' accounts. She'll build the website for you. She'll set up the Google review automations. She'll do all the SEO. She'll literally do all the fulfillment and client setup for like 50 bucks a project. So super, super important. Um, at 15 to $20,000 a month, we got our first customer. I got my first customer success manager before I had a partner. Um, and the customer success manager basically handles all your clients onboarding calls and just basically does all client communication, handles website changes. If a client has an issue, they deal with refunds, they deal with disputes. That client success manager takes you out of the day-to-day -day operations of having to actually run your business and talk to clients, right? You still have to do marketing and acquisition, but you're out of the day-to-day -day of talking to clients, which is super, super huge. Uh, obviously, you still have to do sales calls as well. So in order to actually scale a go high-level agency correctly, you have to build one system. I'm going to say it one more time. So what do I mean by that? This is just an example of our system. I'm going to explain it to you. You could have a completely different one as long as it as long as it's just one system, right? As long as it's just the same thing that you build out for every client that you know will help them grow their business. So for us, we work with home service people. We build them a website. We do some basic GMB SEO. Um, if you don't know what a Google My Business page is, it looks like this right here. So it's just uh, obviously I'm in Hawaii, but it's just a page like this where people can find local businesses through Google and then reach out to them. So they all have websites. They'll have Google reviews. The better the website, the better the page is optimized, the more reviews, the higher they rank on Google and the more leads they get. So we go through and do a basic SEO thing on there. And then we add a conversation bot as well to their website. So if you look, this is one of our websites. So this has a conversation bot attached to it. This phone number up here has a conversation bot, uh, conversation bot attached to it. Um, this little chat widget right here, conversation bot attached to it. Any way that anyone can ever contact one of our clients through the website, there's going to be some kind of an instant AI follow-up. The amount of money that we make our clients just by having instant AI follow-up is fucking absurd. Because contractors in general and local businesses in general are so bad at getting back to people, it's wild. So when you set up these basic systems for them, they're going to make more money. And we also attach the conversation bot to their Instagram page and their Facebook page uh, and all their, like basically all their social media. So anytime they get a message through Facebook, Instagram, their website, any of their ads, our bot is responding to those people as soon as humanly possible. Now, the way we do this, and by the way, we also automate their Google reviews. We give them invoicing, calendar booking. We didn't do this stuff till 30 plus K a month. You do not need to do all this stuff. You could create a whole business just off a conversation bot or just off a website and maybe a conversation bot to follow up with the leads. You don't need to do all this complicated shit. We only do it now because we actually have scale and we have employees. But again, when, it, when I say one system, I mean literally one system and it all revolves around the mobile app. The mobile app is something that you, know, you can download or your client can download, it's free, it comes with Go High Level. Um, and basically they'll, they can take phone calls on the app, they can respond to Google reviews on the app, and then they can actually text people back on the app. It's super important that they use this app every single day to run their business. This is how you will be sticky and this is how you will stack a huge base of recurring revenue. 
Okay. And we're going to charge way more later on for more services, but you have to stack a base of 30 to 40 K of recurring revenue first before we actually start scaling later on. Okay. So the mobile app is how we do that. You have to make sure they are running their business through the mobile app. So imagine you have a customer and they're responding to all of their leads and having all their conversations through the app. Now imagine they're processing their payments through the invoicing system on the app. Imagine now they're, they're doing, they're scheduling their estimates or they're, if they're a barber, they're scheduling their appointments through your calendar inside Go High Level through the mobile app. You, they are using your app and your software to run their whole business. They will never stop paying you $297, $300, $400 a month, right? You are ingrained in their business now, okay? So focus on the product, but you don't, you don't have to go crazy on this. Like at, at the start, at the start, we literally just did a website and we helped them get Google reviews. That was it. It was so shit. So shit before we added all, all this other stuff. That being said, we still got to like 20, 30 K a month or I got to 30 K a month before I had a partner basically just with that. Like it was really bad, but it helped clients so much that they stayed like obviously not all of them, but 297 bucks is nothing. If I help them get one extra client a month from all the shit that I do, they're going to keep paying me. They just want to see a very clear return on investment. And the hardest part, honestly, about selling go high level is making people understand the value of actually what you're selling them. Because this is not direct lead generation like you might be used to running someone's Facebook or meta, uh, meta ads or anything like that or Google ads, right? This is indirect lead generation. I can't prove to these guys because I get them 50 extra Google reviews, they're going to get more business. Or because I follow up with their person, with their customer instantly, they're going to get more business, right? That's, what, that's the hardest thing about how to explain this and how to actually get customers is that. So once you figure that out, you're literally good to go. So this is the whole system we basically set up. We made sure we integrated them very, very well into the mobile app. And we just kept stacking recurring revenue at 200 to 400 bucks a month, literally. If you just want to copy paste everything we built, you can do that with a single click. I've created an entire copy paste version of my entire business. The same business that I'm still running currently to make $30,000 a month in monthly recurring revenue. I'm just going to give you the exact system that we use for our current clients. Then I'm going to show you how to actually get clients and deliver them results quickly. I'll even show you how to find employees for $7 an hour. that can basically run the entire thing for you. You're not going to have to figure out what to sell, who to sell it to, or if people are going to find value in what you're selling. It's already done for you. And I'll even jump on weekly Zoom calls with you to answer any questions or get you through any roadblocks that you have. If you want all of this for free, you can just go to stonescaling.com or you can just click the link in the bio. So what do we actually do to get clients? So at the beginning, until uh, I actually have a module about this in my, um, in my school community, shameless plug, actually, I'm just going to show you this. So in the school community, I actually show you the full build out of actually like what we, uh, what we set up. Um, again, that's a shameless plug. Obviously, you get all my shit for free if you sign up with my Go High Level link. But anyway, so zero to 16 clients was basically all cold calling. The reason that I, that I tell people to do cold calling is it's really important to get good on the phone and be able to sell this shit before you just start running ads or before you start doing cold email or whatever else because you're going to have to talk to these people at some point. You're going to have to. You're going to have to get on a sales call and be able to sell these people. So you might as well just bite the bullet early and do cold calls. Like if you're afraid of doing outreach or you can't, you don't have the balls or the, the thick skin to do cold calls, like you just shouldn't even try, genuinely. Um, I, I really mean that because like you're, you're gonna do all this work and shit and then when it comes time to get on Zoom, you're gonna shit yourself. So like you have to be okay with just getting really good at people yelling at you and saying no and you're just gonna get really good at rapid, rapid answering all the dumbass questions you get on cold calls because you're gonna get the same 20 questions on repeat, okay? So if you're already good at sales and stuff, like if you know you can sell and you're good at sales, you can completely skip cold calls and just go to cold SMS, which is just basically mass texting people. The reason cold SMS is better is because it's one to many sales calls is, or excuse me, cold calling is one to one. So I can only do so many dials by myself an hour. I'm only talking to one person. Cold SMS, you can text hundreds of people a day. Uh, again, shameless plug. We have a whole module on our cold SMS system as well. The last thing you can do is cold email and loom videos. So I should probably put cold email here, here as well. Um, I'll put that real quick. Cold email, cold email. So what you would do is you would basically set up a cold email system. There's lots of videos on YouTube on how to do that. If you get a positive response to that cold email that you send out, you would then send that business owner a personalized Loom video going over their website or whatever your offer is in like 30 to 45 seconds. Share your screen and show them their business. So you would share your screen. Let's say it's Maui Landscapes LLC. I would go here to their website, share my screen, and then I'd be like, hey, this is everything that's fucked up with your website. Here's how I can help, right? That's the short version. Uh, I don't like Loom Outreach that much only because I don't like cold email because I'm not super tech savvy and I all my emails would always end up in spam. It was super annoying. But again, I know people who have built businesses like doing all of these things, right? So it all works. You just have to figure out a channel. I even know guys who've got to over $20,000 a month with cold DM, right? Just cold DMing people on Facebook, which is crazy to me. I don't know how they did it. But anyway, once you get out of this loop and I would say I started ads at like three to $5,000 a month in recurring revenue. You want to get paid ads working because paid ads is the quickest way to scale by far. Again, you can scale with any of these other methods as well. Paid ads for me was just the best and the fastest. 
Um, I'm usually pretty comfortable on camera um, and paid ads. Like it just came more naturally to me. Again, you can build out like uh, my business partner, Mike, got to like eight, nine thousand dollars a month just with cold SMS. He literally was just spamming cold SMS and getting on sales calls. And uh, cold SMS is also a lot cheaper. Paid ads, you're going to have to give up a lot of your profit to actually run paid ads and figure out how to, how to do that. So this whole thing, everything I just showed you, all of this should get you to 30K a month, right? If you just do this, just do this to 30K a month. Once you, once you uh, have the money, do paid ads. Before you have the money, do cold outbound. Build a system. Make sure the system relies heavily on the mobile app and make sure your clients get integrated into the mobile app. You have one VA who built out all the websites. At 15 to 20K a month, you get one customer success manager and that should get you to 20, 30K a month, okay? At 30K a month, this is where you can start to hyperscale because you have the recurring revenue coming in to just throw money at the wall. And by throw money at the wall, I mean bad hires, fucking up your ads, um, uh, spending a bunch of money on text marketing for go high level, spending like just the amount of money I wasted trying to figure stuff out was crazy. You can pay for coaching as well. Uh, I spent I spent 50, 50K plus on coaching, at least. Uh, at this point, definitely way more. But at 30K a month, once you've done this and you have the system kind of dialed in, you have some kind of like a decent outreach strategy, whether it's paid ads or any of the cold calls, what I would have done is I would have hired a sales rep at 30K a month. Me and Mike waited till we were at like 50, 60K and we were so burnt out on sales calls, it was just a waste. Like we could have done this way early. We could have done this at 30K a month and we would have scaled way faster because then we would have been removed from client fulfillment, customer success, and sales, right? On the back end, you would still be doing sales and marketing. So you'd still be running ads and making content for your business, but you're not actually the one jumping on the sales calls. And now what you do here with this sales rep is you have two calendars on Go High Level. You have your sales rep calendar, so he gets first priority. And then what you would do is you would jump on the second priority calls. So he's taking 80% of the calls. If you're getting a lot of booked appointments, then you have your, uh, then you take the calls as backup. Or you can reverse it if you want. But either way, like make sure you remove yourself from sales as fast as possible once you're really good at it. So then you can focus all your attention on sales and marketing. That means making content for your business and getting really, really good with paid ads. Or if you want to scale one of the other systems, building out a really robust cold calling center, a really robust cold SMS system, a really robust cold email system, whatever it is, you're working on the business and you are, you are just working relentlessly to get your sales rep more calls on his calendar so he can close them for you. But you have to make sure you know how to do this shit first yourself. Otherwise, you're going to be fucking cooked. I promise you. Like if you can't, if you, you cannot just hire some sales guy, expect him to figure out your sales process. You have to figure it out yourself um, or just watch my videos. Anyway, so how you hire, you go to Upwork uh, or you can run paid ads. You can actually run paid ads and just like do like a little Canva image saying, hey, we are looking to hire a customer success manager and Facebook will literally target for you. Facebook's AI is amazing. So you can just make a Canva ad. We're hiring a customer success manager, $2,000 a month, whatever. Run it as a Facebook ad. Um, and again, Mike, Mike has a whole video about this. Make them send you a loom video. Um, you can do the same thing via Upwork as well. Make them send a loom video. You do an interview, then you hire. So loom video, if you, you do not even get on interviews with these people, unless they have good English and they actually know their shit, then you do your first round of interviews. After your first round of interviews, you take a select few and do a second round of interviews of that second round of interviews. You pick one. Alternatively, what you can do is you can you can get Loom videos from a bunch of different people and have five to 10 people on a call at the same time and just do group interviews. And you'll figure out very, very quickly who you wanna hire and who you don't wanna hire. Um, so at 30K a month, this is where I'd hire my first sales rep. This is how you hire. Right after this, your next hire is gonna be a customer success manager, okay? Again, at this stage, 30, 40K a month, you can now start to upsell. At this stage, if you are removed from sales, now you have time to build out these other systems. If you're not removed from sales, you can't upsell. That's why I tell you to literally don't do anything until you get to 30, 40K a month. Only focus on sales marketing. Remove yourself from the day-to-day. -day, and then once you remove yourself from the day-to-day -day, and you have a super good system that you know generally works at $200, $300 a month, you can focus on getting upfront cash collected and upselling people. But you have to be the one to be the engine to actually drive those upsells and actually build out the systems for your team to actually implement in the upsells. So you can do Google ads, meta ads, AI build outs, advanced SEO. Uh, we do all three of these. We don't do meta ads yet. But only at this point do you actually upsell and start doing $1,500 to $2,000 upsells. You still bring them in on the front end on the low price. Or you can just go to your current clients and say, hey, you've been with us for six months now. You like us. You know us. You love us. You trust us. Do you want this other thing? It's significantly easier to sell a client on a $2,000 package that already has been with you for six to eight months than it is to go randomly sell someone cold who doesn't know who you are. Right, so you start with your current clients with the upsells, and then after that, then you can start doing cold outreach, um, or you can just start including the upsells in your sales call process, right? And if you can get more upfront cash collected, you can then use that money to scale faster and faster and faster. 
again, shameless plug. If you if you want all my shit for free, it's in my school community. But this is just the exact step by step blueprint of like literally where we're at and how we scaled. Obviously, now we're 180k a month, and we're still just doing this. Like nothing has changed. Obviously, our system's always changing, but for the most part, it's literally just this.